Should you be using Godot 4 right now? It's in beta at the time of recording, beta 6. And the answer is, well, it depends on your situation. If you're a pure beginner and you need very precise tutorials step by step to get started, then you, know, you should use Godot 3. It's more stable, um, it has more learning resources, so it will be easier to learn for now. If you are a programming student, a professional, and you want to get the latest features and you feel comfortable learning some on your own, yeah, Godot 4 is already pretty great. So this project here, and this other uh, game demo platform game in 3D are made with Godot 4 Beta. And honestly, it's going pretty well. So if you want to participate in game jams and those kinds of things, it's a good experience for us so far. Finally, if you're looking to make commercial games, I wouldn't recommend it just yet. It's always risky to use the unfinished version of a major game engine release because it's not been as tested as something like Godot 3.5. So be sure that you thoroughly test it before committing to making a commercial game with it. That's what our buddy Bitbrain did. He's uh, evaluated Godot 4 and ported his 2D game to it. And for him, at least, uh, it seems that it's a good experience so far. Uh, I'll leave you a link to his latest devlog in the description so you can learn a bit more because he also talks a bit about the errors he encountered and those kinds of things, but he's been pretty motivated by the port and the new version of Godot. I'll also leave you a link to this news post about Godot 4 because it talks a bit about the release cycle and that uh, for Godot 4.0, you should expect something a bit like Godot 3.0. You may not remember, but when Godot 3 came out, it was a big remake of the engine, but it didn't have all the features you find in Godot 3.5. In summary, for personal projects, for game jams, those kinds of things, Godot 4 is already a lot of fun to use, even in beta. If you are making commercial projects, be sure that you test it thoroughly, especially the exports, and ensure that it has all the features that you need. And if you're a beginner, stick to Godot 3 for the learning resources that will make your experience much easier. We don't have courses for Godot 4 just yet, but we are working on it. And if you get a copy of Learn Code from Zero with Godot or Godot Node Essentials right now, you will get the updated version for Godot 4 when it comes out. I'll leave you a link to these in the description below.